Hi everybody and welcome to Love Speaks Love. Um, my wonderful guest today this evening is Helen Quayle. Welcome sweetheart. Oh, it's so good to be here. I'm just sitting here bathing in the energy. <laughs> Very lovely. Yeah. Yeah, it does feel it does feel good. We were just talking about how the energies were kind of working with us today. Um, and it's felt to me like a bit of a a bit of a strange day, all in all, a little bit discombobulated. Um, yeah, just a weird one. But I, I think at the end of this call, I'm expecting to feel a lot. Better. <laughs> <laughs> I do think it's got a lot to do with um, to do with what we're about to do. Yeah, yeah. And often I find before big work, it's like you're holding, you're holding the opposite frequency of what it is you're bringing in as well. The tension of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. Just, just sharing this to a few. Yeah, I think I was getting that yesterday. I mean, it's just the beginning of the day here. Um, yesterday was a mixture of, of energies and... Um, I feel that that was some of the the revving up. Yeah. So I'll just introduce my companion here because he wanted to be here. Um, and this this fellow's been with me, oh gosh, like seven years. And when he came to me, he it was for it was for global healing, and that instigated the first global healing that I was doing which then linked in with Sally and then we've been doing the Wednesday healing for seven years um so he's very much about collective and planetary work and he's serpentine oh, wow. and there's a lot of serpentine here in Mount Shasta um and goes lines through um Iona and Comartin and in Britain so he was like um yeah wanting to be with us um for this work he's always in my room but wanted to be so that people could see and feel them. Can you can you bring him a bit closer just for Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. Oh, wow. Oh. Hello. Yeah, and a few years ago he told me that he was done and he was to move on and I had a whole range of people and he almost went to Miami. And then it was like, no, actually we've got more to do. <laughs> yeah, it goes. Um, wow. Uh, so he's been a bunch of places. Um, and of course, between Scotland and uh, Shasta. Um, yeah, so, yeah, I just want to bring in the piece um, for anybody that's joining about, you know, from what we were doing last time about opening this portal. Um, I just, you know, just it's just the continual foundation of all that I'm in about the, the design of everything and the intelligence. Um, and I'd been told to go to Crater Lake specifically the following day mm -hmm. and rearranging things. So when I was there, um, a whole lot came in. Um, and it's like the way that I'm seeing it is, well, we're, we're, we've, we've, we're, we've opened this portal through the Comartian Stones. And I'm going to show you this picture, actually. Wow. It's, that's the grandfather that I sent the picture with me yeah. with. Um, so just for him to, to, to feel that up in that there. Thank you. Um, and Shasta is, is, is critical and, and integral. And then it's like behind, the way that I'm being shown, it's like behind Shasta's crater, like got her back. Um, and my experience of crater was many things, but it has the highest frequencies like Shasta, but there's a breadth and range of frequencies that feels very significant. And, um, oh gosh, I mean, there's been more pieces coming in since then that I can't kind of weave all together in this moment. Um, also with friends, uh, what, two days ago, I went along for a sound healing and then all of this stuff opened up as it does. And we opened up an, a new portal. Like where they are is like in the most amazing direct line of the mountain. 
and there's so many beings of light holding that space. So there was a new, well, was, the portal wasn't new, but the, the frequency is new. And I keep using the word new, which doesn't do it justice. I can't, you know, it's I can't convey like, and I'm sure I know you get it. And I know a lot of people listening will get it. Like, it's like, you know, we have high frequencies and resonant frequencies. And then it's like, and it's an entirely diff like qualitatively different um, vibrational field. And that's what came in Monday, and it was completely linked to this portal, this work, this field. And I don't need to unpick and I wouldn't try and do it all, but it just, I'm just going to kind of throw that in the pot. And I'm sure that you and others will, will have had pieces. And then I met somebody yesterday, uh, um, Della, who's hopefully here. I was like, you need to be in that call. And then I know Jed had said something and it's like, yes, yeah, so people are like that have keys. Um, are connecting in either here or on replay as well. Um, it feels maybe timely is a better word. Urgency is not the right word, but there's a there's a real momentum. Like this is the now. This is the work for now. And there's all of these multiple multi-dimensional pieces that make it possible now not least you and I coming together, but everybody else in the field and all the other pieces and ships. Um, and I can feel like the, you know, all the beings are like, oh, you know, come on, let's do this. And it feels like it's gonna keep building and keep expanding. That's my sense of it. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, I'm getting the word cosmic alignment as well like there's 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 many reasons why it's it's in this this now that we're doing this mm -hmm. yeah and, and isis um has been coming in a lot and as i shared and you know in your post um you know i know that area as the well, part of it is the avenue of stars but that came through isis and i was there through isis work and she was very present on Monday when I was with his uh, two soul family. Um, and, you know, through and beyond Isis, the archetype and that specific vibration is it's just the, the divine feminine timelessly, which is at the core of this whole collective rebalancing. Um, so did you want to lead us into anything before we dive in? Or? Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll just um, connect to all of our hearts and I'll yeah. connect us with the heart of Gaia as well. So thank you so much, Helen, for joining, joining me again. Mm, it's a pleasure. And thank you, everyone, who's, who's watching live or on the replay or on YouTube. So I invite us to bring our awareness to our heart space. And let's breathe in love. Breathing love into every cell of our bodies, into our energetic field, and feeling our fields expanding as we breathe in love. And the love is going into every nook and cranny in our bodies. And connecting all of our hearts together, connecting mine with yours, Helen, and with everybody watching. And it matters not whether you're with us live or on the replay. In this quantum field, all is now. And connecting our hearts with the heart of Gaia And with the New Earth templates and the crystalline matrix of energy that emanates out from the crystalline diamond heart of Gaia. And as we connect together in this beautiful field, just visualizing 
points of light all over the earth, joined together in a golden web. Ian eron o kunnekiana, elistia eron o kunnumakaya, kule rad uist arana kiapana o, kule ya eano kodutututuya. And connecting our hearts with the heart of the sun and with the heart of Source Creator the great cosmic heart. <sighs> okay. And just to recap as well from the first one, it's hard to remember <laughs> quite what it was that we did, but I, I know that we connected with the, with the standing stones and it, it feels like, like these new frequencies are being brought into the standing stones as well. So they may yeah. move out into, into the earth grid and like an upgrade. <laughs> yeah. It really is a shift. It really is a shift, you know, and I'm just getting how important it is. Like, it's like we keep having to recalibrate, like, so fast, just doom, 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 um, because of the, the speed of, you know, the acceleration of the light that's coming in, the quantity, the volume. Um, and then, of course, our systems on all levels, you know, our bodies are like, you know, continually, continually adjusting. And it's so important for the mind also that we can hold the space for our, our awareness to keep being in this now. And yes, we are like collating and integrating multiple timelines and, and ancestral memories and spiritual energies and, and future timelines. But it's like the excitement and the potentiality of, of this now is just astounding. Um, so I'm kind of getting reminded of that in terms of like, you know, Kilmartin has, has so many lineages through it, so much history, so much ancientness. The land has so much ancientness and that's all true and right and part of why it is like coming forward. And at the same time, it's so important that we are like right here going, okay, what, what is this that's possible now? What is this that's coming in? Um, so I, I got the dragons coming in straight away and just assisting us to, to, to reopen, to open this portal wider. And it really is, for want of better language, you know, portal of new earth frequencies of the highest caliber. Um, and last time when we were all connecting, we were beginning a process of like lighting up a whole range of spots around the grid and around the planet. Um, okay, so everyone can, so you know, we are all co-creating this space with all of our teams, our higher selves, our star and soul families. So in whatever way, you orient or experience, and we'll all be doing that differently. There's no one perception or experience that is better or correct. And and I'll you know I'll just be giving voice to what I'm being shown, and Denise the same. And each of us will have pieces of the design, and it is the wholeness. It is our collective coming together that that creates these shifts that, that makes what is possible manifest. So I simultaneously aware of the star frequencies um, through this portal, I'm being pulled down, very much down into the inner realms of Gaia.
for not only a deeper anchoring, but it feels like a very peaceful healing and meeting. There's like a readiness and a soothing really in her womb space. And she's saying she is fertile for this. And as we know, the womb and birth has its own intelligent rhythm that ebbs and flows. So even as, as I was expressing, almost like, yeah, I guess like a, a contraction, a tension a moment ago, now I'm feeling like a pause, like a, a, a softening, a relaxation, a deepening, as, as Gaia is really bringing her presence, her love, her womb for us, with us, as us to really hold, to really mother these shifts. Maka ahai na nāri na tia mahe nini tata i mako te ni rāka aka atia. Hi ata tia ni ni mara aka a ahi e hi aha e taa ini. Nita a shit in the mara a ya aka a ite, ya aka a dia a hakia a. And if everyone listening, male or female, whatever body, can just intend to relax and open in the womb area, the hara area, whether or not there's a physical organ, there's an exhale. softening that aligns and merges with that of Gaia. <clears throat> So I'm just um, bringing forth, aligning, recognizing, acknowledging the Middle Earth beings um, here in Shasta, in Mount Shasta, in the mountain, and in Scotland, under the land, under the crust, under the ocean. There's a new partnership being formed between different aspects of inner earth. Okay, I just want to acknowledge the energy of, of Giza and the Great Pyramid, which is very intimately connected with both these spots. And really being drawn to the apex of the pyramid, the true apex of the pyramid. And of course the Syrian frequencies in particular so they are activating into the avenue of the stars. And tell us 
Shasta. Of course, you're totally welcome to just vocalize anything that comes to you, same thing. And the Syrians are just really saying to us to know, to know that we can actually vibrate so much higher. We can go so much higher and we're going to go so much higher. Um, but this comes from a ground of, 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 of being grounded exactly where we are. Exactly where we are. But there's the capacity now in many bodies and many beings and collectively to go so much higher. The frequencies that are being held and, and shared through the community here in Shasta. Uh, and I, I, my perception, and it's one that's been reflected and echoed by several, is in the last, literally in the last week, has just again gone like, like just such a palpable seismic jump. And the Syrians are just showing how like the, the capacity of humanity is just it's it's escalating so fast not for everybody of course but for those that are integrated and present for where we now are and i think we touched on this last time but um the knowing in my system is that these next three months, like the, what they're saying, it's like it's going to be like blast off. <laughs> like this past six months has just been like very necessary groundwork and preparation, and of course, like massive change. And then it's like literally fasten your seatbelts this next three months. So, you know, and it'll look like it looks like something we can't know, but you know, in terms of like the ground and, and what's beneath us, the, the, the breaking and the disintegration is going to be more uh, substantial and dramatic than ever. But also the, the elevation is going to be extraordinary. And I hadn't, I hadn't tasted that. I just knew the, 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 the immensity um, of what's coming up. I could feel it. But now I'm feeling like there's more access to the actual higher frequencies. I'm feeling that right now as well. I'm really feeling the presence of the, the water beings around here, especially, um, and, and the inner earth beings here too. Um, mm. And the fairies, the fairies are really strong. And it feels like, It feels like a huge evolution with the fairies as well. Like, obviously everything, everything, the frequency of everything is upgrading. Um, and I guess because the fairies are less physical as well, it, it just feels like their frequency is really raised a lot mm -hmm. since, since I used to tune into them. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I mean, I've always tuned into them a bit, but a lot at the start of my journey. And I can really, maybe because it's um, because it's um, um, in England as well, but I can really feel a difference in, in their energy. Yeah. Thank you for bringing that in. And also the water, like I have been like, just like pulled so strongly to water again and again, not just create a lake, but just, 
yeah, just like it feels. And then of course we have all the, we have the fire energy in such a large scale here, not only California, but the whole West Coast. Um, yeah, I'm really feeling the water around the whole of Britain right now, actually. Okay, so yeah, we're going to take some of the codes from this portal into, into the sea. And into the water, um, there's a spring down the road from here, and I'm really feeling that strongly. And it's, you know, it comes up from the earth, it comes up from deep, deep in the earth as well. And it's almost like it goes through, it goes through quite a um, transmutation before it comes out. It's very clean and clear. Yeah. And I've been feeling um, swan energy really, really strongly as well. I'm getting, I've been seeing quite a few swans, not today, but um, every day leading up to this. And I'm really feeling their energy, like, like they're transmitting that energy of grace to us as well. And, mm. and kind of that smoothness as, as they glide. Yeah, that's the image. It, it's like, it doesn't have to be that our legs are paddling really, really fast. Um, yeah. Noticing the swan's legs the other day, they, they have quite long strides almost. And it, it's like their elegance and their grace continues beneath the water as well. And that's the image that I'm getting for us, that it doesn't have to be too frantic and yeah. too kind of frenetic, but it can be, it can be smooth. So bringing in absolutely smoothness and and ease as well yeah which is the feminine flow right and you know i just get like like a heartbeat you know it's just 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 and and like and labor doesn't need to be labor isn't frenetic we've just programmed it you know it's a natural rhythm of contraction and and relaxation and um yeah i i feel it i really feel was feeling the springs at Glastonbury, Glastonbury, the Lady of the Lake, and some of those Avalonian energies really coming into the field. And of course, saying that Merlin's, <laughs> Merlin's making his presence very, very known as well. Yeah. <laughs> And I, Dina, I keep feeling Dina in Costa Rica. Uh, I know she was going to be here if she could. Um, the animal kingdoms, the bird kingdoms. But she also brings in. When Australia just came in big time. You did you used to live in Australia, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was like boom. <laughs> okay. No Mm. Yeah, it feels that feels it's really that's got a really deep holding. Mm. And whale beings are singing with us, sounding with us, and just as Denise was saying, with grace and ease, just allowing these new codes of light to move through the waters in particular, the planet is still largely water in the physical. So, you know, the light codes are in the atmosphere, in the air, and with their consciousness, we can support their dispersing through water, through all waters, 
oceans, seas, rivers, springs, streams, rain, and the water in our own bodies, the water in our eyes, in our skin. A little yeah. breath. The fluids of the body have been, um, especially the, the fluids we don't always think about, like the fluid in the pericardium, like the lubrication mm. fluid mm -hmm. in, the, in the body and the lymphatics mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so I'm just getting another reminder about drinking way more water. And I know we're always being told this, and um, the body is in like uncharted territory. Your humanity is in uncharted territory. Um, so none of the old stuff applies. Um, but yeah, like a like a freak, a, like literally how frequently we're we're just lubricating, consciously lubricating with water with the new coatings. So we can connect in to this portal, we can connect into the newest frequencies of light and invite them and honor them in every drink of water, every sip of water that we bring into our system, knowing that it's going to go into all the fluids, the lymphatics, affects the blood, nervous system, the brain. We are consciously co-creating in partnership with our physicality. And it feels to me like so many of the codes are already in the water, like they've been in all along, just waiting for now to be activated. To be activated. Yeah, it feels like we're putting new codes in as well, but actually activating some of the ones that are already, yeah, already in there for this time. Yeah, yeah. That that I'm being reminded of a piece that came through with Sally Sharon in Glastonbury. Oh my gosh, like uh, six years ago. And it's exactly that about coding that was placed under the Pacific that can be activated by collective intent when we're ready. Yeah, Yarunukum <laughs> Ochia an iara un ukura at oist ere erad ut oren. Iahan, iahan, iaran ikia el eran ukur at ara. Ochiast oren burt i kataka a ut um. Ekil aran eel laro nuba. Unk ye ard eel a kid artik or tuit ay akit un. Er in kia mpa i ist urt ia. Hol aran i hard kia rud kia dututun. Ur leor nu yit baran i patatatan. Ia hrn kia rit la baratitir. Ur ut orem a kestur a tiki la patatatun. Upr tatata Let's take a deep breath. So through this um, 
we're opening up a connection with New York. Last time we moved um, to the West, we kind of covered and came around. It's like we could only sort of activate certain areas. I was taken right, <laughs> right into New York as you were bringing that through. And for us just to hold a point of consciousness there with no forcing, no pushing, just effortless, it's just being, just a point of light that goes deep, 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 deep into the land, what is beneath, into the true coding of golden Christ said consciousness. cities like I can I I can feel the energy of certain cities in in England as well and yeah so yeah and I, I I got a line to LA opening up and then also here but um, I want to just anchor into LA and of course people you know if people are feeling other places coming online you know we have resonances with particular points just trust that trust it and just be and hold the light wherever you're sensing. We do this together. And just before this came in, I really felt the angelic realms around the planet, like really just adoring and holding and supporting these planetary shifts as they will continue to do timelessly. Mama Bali is really bringing her essence in with Tira Nata. And more than ever, she's reminding us to, yeah, to hold everything in softness. Whatever comes ahead, whatever things look like, keep finding softness. Tuinanamanakaiyanayanatoyayatayo Ha 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 
Bukhina ta e bu e e te. Okay, let's just take a breath. Just adjust in the body. Feel where we are here now. Expanding. And also grounding. Sitting down into the sit bones. Feeling the skeleton. We are infinite. Infinite beings of light inhabiting a human body for a moment. And I'm just being asked to express an invitation that we're going to need more than ever for the energy of forgiveness. Forgiveness for ourselves. Forgiveness for our brothers and sisters. For all the misinformed choices and actions. Let's bring in the embrace of forgiveness, the readiness. Not artificially, not prematurely, but the readiness as this grace opens. And to remember this as more and more disintegrates and more and more that has been hidden is revealed in our own selves, in the beings around us, and in our societies, in our world. There is no wrong. There is just a discovering and uncovering and remembering and rebalancing. Forgiveness. Forgiveness for all that has transpired and what we look at as the past. And for steps that are still to come. There is grace. Always in all of it. Let us all take a deeper breath and allow our hearts to open even wider. At your perfect pace, feeling our hearts breathing as one heart and in this unified field, so much more love can be known, expressed, and come into body. So much more love amplified, multiplied. Kayana Kayana Maya Uya Chea Chokmin Hayana Utai
breathe into the cells, let them catch up, let them adjust, renew, let them recognize what's possible now. And the old, in the sense of frequencies which are just no longer resonant, they really just fall off. Timelines just fall away. It's remarkable. It's so quick. And effortlessness is a theme that keeps coming up. Many of us might still carry the residues of programs of making things hard, of believing things need to be hard. A lot of religious programming, a lot of societal programming and economic conditioning. And it's false. Old cellular patterns just run off like water. And we hold space for ourselves as consciousness to allow body and mind just to recognize this, just to catch up. That's all. This comes through our presence, expansiveness, stillness. Just letting these things play and unwind without any involvement without any analysis, without any judgment. And just remember that as we continue to meet more of what we are as source, this comes to the meeting of the balance, what we can see as polarity, yin and yang, light and dark. So the higher the light, the higher the vibration, the more that we have the invitation potential and capacity to integrate what we can see as darkness. And we are not this or this, we are all and we are beyond all. We're everything and nothing and we contain everything and nothing. And so it is. Ai me che na e na o ka a i me ti ni na ai a ta che hi a ta che ti 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 ka ma ha ni 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 o ra i te i te o ma i te. So I'm feeling this wave easing. Coming to a, a resting for now. Again, a sense of water, just be like water. 
just allowing the ripples and sometimes the waves can feel huge just allow the frequencies to move through us including the releases including those ones that we can label as pain or discomfort And those that we can label as bliss and joy and just pure light. That we can let those ripples just spread throughout the whole of human consciousness, planetary consciousness and beyond to her energetic bodies, the galaxy. Solar system, beyond. And sealing and anchoring all in the highest, purest expression of source, golden awakened, illuminated Christ consciousness. Pure, impenetrable, eternal source light. It's done, it is done, it is done. And breathe, slow, deep breaths. Tai me koe, tai me nene nene a oia kia. Ti a te maa ka ati ana a nene te o me koe nene te a. Feels beautifully complete. With great gratitude, great wonderment, great appreciation of all of us, physical, non physical, divine beings of light and love and truth. And this beloved planet that holds us with just perpetual unconditional love as we all evolve. Just take a few minutes to really come back into the body, to bring awareness into the sensory experiences of skin, temperature, of how the body orients in time and space where this body is seated or laying. And especially how the breath feels. Entering and releasing. You might want to rub thumb and fingertips hands together, Let's touch your skin, stretch, just come from within, just allow any organic easing to again explore what is here now, not with the mind, just with awareness, what is here now, 
through the eyes of this one, through what is around this one, what is in the field. Ah, and celebrate. It's important to celebrate. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous field. Just stay here. <laughs> I also know that if we hang out here much longer, they'll have us doing like a next the next round. <laughs> um. <laughs> Oh, I'm not hearing you, Denise. Hmm. I'm not hearing you. Can everybody, I can't hear you. Is anybody else hearing you? I don't think it's at my end because nothing's changed. Oh, you got a little bit of sound there. No, no, there's just background noise, but background noise, but not your voice. I don't know what's going on. Maybe that's just our cue to quit while we're ahead and 
I've been silenced, so yeah, I'm fine to just close and okay. All right, so I'll just say thank you to everybody once again, uh, truly, um, to every single one of us that's here now live or in replay. Whenever you're coming together, we are together in one heart. To all of our non-physical teams, guides, mentors, beloveds, we truly are in this together multidimensionally as love. And we hold every part of us through these extraordinary, extraordinary shifts. And I'll just take this opportunity to thank you, especially Denise, for the space that you hold and create and all of the beings that you have here and the opportunities to, 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 to weave in this way visibly together. It feels really um, like the now, like how things are now, and it's 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 a blessing. Um, so we send our love and the grace of this space together out to all beings. So much love and gratitude. Blessed be. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs>